Hello there, it's me again with another fun art lesson. Well, I hope it'll be fun anyway, because today we'll be creating this large abstract landscape painting. Now, abstracts are really interesting to look at, and they're quite fun to create. There's something about the no rules philosophy that makes them really stress-free and relaxing, I think. So for, for our materials, we'll be using a Montmartre brush washer to clean our brush. We'll be using Montmartre Dimension Acrylics in the 250 milliliter tubs. We'll be using a number 15 palette knife and we'll be using a Montmartre 50 millimeter wide artist Taclon brush. And this is really important because if it were any larger, it won't fit into the pot. And if it was smaller, we'll lose the effect that one gains from using a larger brush. So let's get into it. First, I lay on some burnt umber, just a little bit. To this, I lay in some black. I then dip my brush into some water and spread the color over one third of the canvas. Lay in the horizon line as well. I then lay some lemon yellow over the canvas and scrub this in. Use plenty of water and get it on as quickly as you can. I then dip my brush into the gold and lay it over that foreground. I give my brush a clean and then dip it into the monastrol cerulean tub. I lay in the pure cerulean instinctively and in a crisscross kind of pattern. I leave little patches of yellow showing through. This, I think, adds texture and interest. As I do this, I think of the rough placement of clouds, but I don't let a realistic sky formulate. I lay in some white for the clouds, and I think the idea here is to lay them in without giving too much thought to the application. I'm using the number 15 palette knife to do this as well. It carries a lot of paint. I lay in some purple patches of phthalo as well. I lay the colors on pure, but if they mix on the canvas, then I add little dabs of it everywhere. At this stage, I add some lemon yellow with the brush, and I'm really liking the square marks it produces. I then add some orange to simulate a warm sky. As I do this, I remember symmetry is not my friend in this case. Sometimes it's nice to perturb the viewer with an unbalanced composition, so it holds them, but they don't know why. I bring a little more cerulean blue down to suggest some low cloud around it and then lay in some purple cloud banks. These clouds are really the only representational marks so far on the painting. Uh, I think they add some scale to the piece. I'm fairly happy with the sky so I turn my attention to the ground. Into this I lay some orange and then red. Next I lay some yellow and then put in a few dobs of umber just to suggest some large trees on the horizon. You will notice I have used the warm colours in on the ground too. I think of this as companion colouring. I think this way colour harmony is easier to achieve. I then add some emerald green. I add this colour for two reasons. One, because it's red's best friend, and two, because one feels that it should be there, and the viewer is subconsciously relieved when it is. Does that make sense? Lastly, I lay in the sun with my finger. This is now the main focal point and anchors the whole painting. And with the sun, I think my abstract landscape is finished. And I can honestly tell you, I can't remember another time when I had so much fun doing a painting. I think it'll look great in my living room. And I hope you at least gain something from this. And if you did like this, and you're not there now, then come over to montmart.net where we've got lots more fun art lessons. And we've also got blogs, our Facebook, and our family feed. And if you subscribe to that, you can get art hints and tips. So, until next time, keep on painting.